in this video we will solve a numerical on solo growth model the question is like this consider the solo growth model for an economy with the following parameters we have uh, the production function is y is equal to a k to the power 0 0.5 uh, where a denotes the state of technology and k is our capital per worker n denotes our population growth rate uh, this delta denotes our depreciation rate and this small s denotes our savings rate and a is our a is equal to 2 okay so our population growth rate is 2% uh, depreciation is 4% saving rates is uh, 36% and our a is 2 we have to find our steady state value for output per worker okay and consumption per worker investment per worker and capital per worker okay how do we solve this first we should know what is our fundamental uh, solo growth equation okay so our growth equation is being given by that is del k is equal to s f k minus n plus del k okay this is your fundamental solo growth equation okay this denotes our change in capital per worker this s denotes savings rate this is our production function and n plus del that is our growth rate of labor this is growth rate of you know and depreciation and k is our capital per worker okay this is our fundamental equation i have explained whole stuff uh, about this solo growth model how do we uh, uh, derive this very equation so you can check that very video in the description box and i will also play uh, place the link in the i button okay so this is our fundamental solo growth model equation okay now first uh, what we are being told we need to find out the steady state values okay at steady state level okay at steady uh, state level our del k that means our capital per worker does not change it is equal to zero okay if del k is equal to zero which implies which implies our s f k uh, minus n plus del k is equal to zero okay if this is equal to zero so this whole stuff uh, this right hand side is equal to zero and we can write it like this s f k is equal to n plus del k okay so at a steady state level our investment is act, uh, equal to and the depreciation okay whatever be whatever is being invested is used uh, to maintain the capital stock or is uh, that goes for the maintenance of uh, capital stock okay now we can uh, give so uh, the values here so fk means this y okay don't confuse i can write it like this f k okay that means output is a function of uh, capital per worker in this case okay now what is our savings rate so savings uh, rate is being given as a 0 0.36 let me write it here 0 0.36 f of k is being given as is a k to the power 0 0.5 okay should be equal to n plus del so our n is 0 0.02 plus del that is depreciation is 0 0.04 i will explain this step graphically also into k okay so we need to solve this uh, equation for k so the value of a is uh, being given as is 2 okay so i can write here 2 uh, to save the space and time okay so we can do one thing if i transpose this k here 
and this stuff here so we have 0 0.36 into 2 divided by uh, these terms 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04 comes out to be 0 0.06 is equal to k and transposing this here so this will become k to the power 0 0.5 okay when we solve this this is 6 ones are 6 6 6 are 36 so 6 twos are 12 so we will get here 12 okay 12 is equal to now k upon k to the power 0 0.5 can be written like this k since uh, the terms are same we can subtract here so if i transpose this to numerator it will get multiplied and the sign of exponent will change this will become minus 0 0.5 okay since bases are same we can add up these terms so this becomes k 1 minus 0 0.5 so which in turn comes out to be k to the power 0 0.5 okay and k to the power 0 0.5 so i will write here this is k to the power 0 0.5 or in place of k to the power 0 0.5 i can write it like this 1 upon 2 okay so let me write it here 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 which means which implies if i transpose this exponent here it will become here exponent but reciprocated so this will become k is equal to 12 if it is 1 upon 2 it will become 2 upon 1 which is equal to 2 here okay that means let me write it here k is equal to 12 12 sir akhat okay that means our steady state level of capital is equal to 144 okay i will uh, graph it out to make uh, the things uh, easier here so on this axis we have capital per worker and here we have gdp output per worker and we measure other things here that is investment and consumption all the stuff is being uh, represented on the vertical axis okay so first we have this production function okay let me draw this production function we have a k to the power 0 0.5 it will look like this okay this is our f of k f of k this is concave shaped okay why it is a uh, concave shape we know because of the law of diminishing marginal returns okay this will be concave show uh, concave shape in this case also we got this k is equal to 144 now we need to find out the other stuff in the solo equation solo model you know our investment is equal to savings okay and what is savings here so s capital s is equal to saving rate times the output okay so uh, that means our i is equal to which means our i will be equal to s fk simple stuff here okay since uh, we know from the assumption of solo model our investment is equal to savings and savings is equal to saving rate times the output that means our investment will be also equal to savings times output okay and our investment in this case let me write here investment will be equal to so let me first calculate the output that means s that means fk that means output per, per worker so output per worker can be calculated because we calculated the value of k is equal to 144 just plug this value here that means uh, we have a the value of a is 2 uh, into um, k which we got here 144 
so we have 144 we have 0 0.5 it can be written it can be written in this shape okay i know you know it better so this is 2 into uh, this is 12 so this comes out to be 24 okay that means let's try it like this so our steady state level of capital is which we calculated it is 144 okay corresponding to this our gdp our output is 24 okay so we can now calculate the investment here okay so this is our savings uh, function this in uh, i is equal to sfk and we can uh, actually show it here it will uh, look like this okay this is our sfk s f k okay what we call the investment here also and our uh, we will draw the depreciation uh, line also here so this denotes our depreciation okay and this is uh, equal to n plus del k so let me write it here this is n plus del k in this case so at steady state level okay at this point where our investment okay this is our investment function and this is our depreciation function when the investment is equal to depreciation at this point we say it is a steady state okay and at this point uh, our capital per worker does not increase that means our del k is equal to zero okay now uh, we can find out the investment so our investment let me write it like this i is equal to so s the value of s is being given as uh, 0 0.3 times uh, f of k which we calculated here that's 24 which gives us um, 0 0.36 into 24 i have calculated it it comes out to be 8.64 okay that means our investment will be equal to 8.64 okay that is investment per worker so we calculated output per worker investment per worker capital per worker now we need to find out the consumption per worker we know whatever uh, gdp is in case of a uh, closed economy our y our income is uh, either being consumed or invested okay now the value of y which is our f of k okay we calculated the value of y somewhere here which is equal to 24 that means 24 is equal to c plus our investment which we calculated here let's write it here like this which is 8.64 that means our consumption per worker will be equal to 24 minus 8.64 which comes out to be uh, 15 point uh, 15 point 76 okay so simple stuff here on this axis uh, not only uh, do we calculate output per worker we also calculate investment per worker okay and consumption per worker now this is our total gdp this 24 so this stuff is our y okay this denotes our output and this is our investment this is our uh, i okay so uh, this part here and uh, this part let me write it like this this part will denote our consumption per worker okay so our consumption per worker came out to be 
six the difference between output and investment that means output minus investment gives us the consumption per worker in this case okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so at a steady state level level our uh, capital per worker does not increase that means our del k is equal to zero okay so let us say this is our uh, k star that means uh, to maintain the steady state level okay we need 144 units of capital okay and this line is our uh, depreciation line at this point our uh, investment is being used for the maintenance of capital that means our investment is equal to depreciation okay uh, i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you